Hi everyone, it's Stacy from My Yoga Leap. So thank you for joining me on the mat again this week. I hope you enjoyed last week's practice. Um, it was our first time uh, getting together since, uh, well, since a long time and it was great to be back. We did a grounding flow last week and this week we're going to focus on a little bit of joy and happiness. So kind of centering around our heart center, our heart chakra, and just trying to have nice big open breaths, open postures, and really try to manifest a little bit of joy and happiness. Coming into the holidays, um, for uh, a lot of us, it brings us a lot of joy. For a lot of us, it brings us a lot of stress. So just trying to manifest some joy. Who can't use a little more joy these days? So um, as we did last week, and as I will be doing for these videos, I will be practicing on the mat, but also cueing for the chair. So if, um, if you are practicing on the mat and you see me move to the chair, no problem, you can just stay on the mat and vice versa. I just want to make sure that we have lots of options available for our bodies uh, every week. So it, again, if you are in a posture on the floor and you see me moving to the chair, no problem, hang tight, I'll be back with you momentarily. And likewise, if you're in a posture, whether you're in the chair or the mat and your body doesn't feel, um, it's feeling some pain, try backing out of the posture, um, easing up or coming out of the posture altogether and finding something like child's pose or mountain pose if that feels better. So lots of options. Uh, again, we're gonna be trying to manifest a bit of joy and happiness today. Um, I won't be playing music, so if you have a favorite playlist, something happy, you wanna pop in, go ahead and pause the video and get that music going. Grab whatever props you wanna practice with. I won't really be queuing uh, too much with them this week, but they are always an option for you, just like the chair is a great prop. And so when you're ready, let's uh, start standing this week. So coming to your mat or sitting nice and tall in your chair, we're going to root our feet down into the earth, lift and spread the toes, maybe even rock back and forth a little bit if that feels okay. And when we settle our feet into the ground, then let's bring some energy up through the legs, engage the core, we'll roll the shoulders down and back. So we're trying to stack all of our body here in a nice straight line. We can turn our palms forward. We can see right away that starts to open us up through the chest and the heart center. As always, we're going to start with a bit of breathing. So if it's comfortable for you here, just close your eyes and start to notice the breath. We want to notice the breath flowing in and out of our body as we're standing. Where do we notice it? Is it in our bellies, our ribs, our chest? Maybe it's really flowing through our nose and we can feel it there the most. So just bring your attention to where we're really feeling our breath the most. Just the natural breath. Don't change anything yet. Just trying to notice the breath. We know it's happening for us in the background all the time. Let's bring a bit of awareness to it here. See how it feels. And we can start to Tap into the idea of joy and happiness. Maybe thinking about what that means for us. Maybe what that might mean for our loved ones. Or maybe as we are all in this thing together, what it might mean for us, the collective us. Maybe grabbing onto a few words, a little motto that you can repeat to yourself throughout class. If you find you will get distracted, you can come back to that motto. So maybe it's, I am happy, I deserve joy. Anything simple that we can just repeat to ourselves silently here a few times. And then we'll start to deepen our breath a little bit and we'll bring movement to the breath as well. The eyes can stay closed or we can gently look down and flutter the eyelids open. And we're going to take a big inhale, reaching the arms up. And then exhale, lower them down. So if you're sitting in the chair, same thing here, just reaching up, inhale. And exhale. Inhaling to reach the arms up, exhale, lower the arms down. Let's flow again. As we think about our motto and think about the ideas of letting go of anything that doesn't serve us. So for the next 45 or 50 minutes or so, letting go of any competition, judgment, or expectation of our practice. 
and just trying to find joy in the moment. All right, let's add a little bend here. Let's inhale, sweep the arms up. As we exhale, we can start to hinge forward at the hips. And we can bring our hands down to rest on our thighs or maybe our shins. So from the side, we're going to inhale here and then exhale, hinge from the hips where the hips kind of crease and hands can rest on thighs or legs. If you're in the chair, it's the same thing. We're just going to inhale here and hinge forward, reach your arms down. Nice straight back and as we're lifting, pressing ourselves up through the feet. Exhale, hinge at the hips, dive down. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, swan dive down. Maybe you're feeling a little bit more flexibility in the hips and you can uh, come down a little further, maybe not listening to our bodies, pressing through the feet as we press ourselves up to standing. And then exhale, forward fold, halfway down or all the way down. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep flowing here. I'll demo it in the chair. I've got a wall here, so bear with me as I sweep my arms up. Inhale and then exhale, forward fold in the chair. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Good, let's just do a couple more here. All right, let's take a big inhale and let's just draw our hands down through heart center and then down to our sides. So whether we're in the chair or mountain pose, take a moment here, connect back through the feet. Take another big inhale. I you can't see the tops of my hands here. And we're gonna grab onto our left wrist, reach up towards the sky and then hinge over as we're standing up straight trying to get everything in frame. <laughs> it's a little difficult. So we're just trying to find a nice deep side stretch and we're sort of using the wrist as we guide our arm up and over our body here. So we want to root down through both feet as we find this side bend, find a nice big opening through the left side body. Let's stick for another breath. On our next inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, forward fold, reach down, swan dive down. Inhale, come up to standing. Let's do one more. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, press ourselves up. Reach up through the fingertips. This time, let's grab onto our right wrist and lift up and over and find that left side bend. Now we're open through the right side body here. Sitting in the chair, it looks the same. Let's keep the shoulders reaching back and spinning the left ribs under so that we have a nice open heart center towards the front of the room and root down through both feet. Nice big side stretch. Stay for a couple of breaths. Good, let's inhale back through center. Exhale forward fold again. Inhale, come on up. Exhale those hands through heart center and down to our sides. Okay, we're gonna to start to open up through the heart center a little more. So this time as we inhale, reach the hands up, exhale and we'll drop them behind our back and clasp the fingertips. So see if, or the knuckles rather, and see if we can't start to reach the knuckles down towards the earth. We can see right away as we reach, we start to open up through the heart space here. So we can stay here, stay nice and lifted, knuckles reaching down. And if we're in the chair and there's not enough room behind us to clasp and reach, just maybe scooch to the edge of the chair to find space, or maybe just reach back behind the chair and you can sort of draw um, the energy up through the heart center by pulling against the chair if that's possible. Imagine just squeezing the elbows together if you can't. Clasp the knuckles behind the chair. Nice big opening through the heart center and choosing to either stay seated or standing or maybe finding that forward fold. Now it's nice if you're in the chair here, you can just drape your torso over the thighs. If you're standing, bend the thighs, drape the torso over and 
and let the arms come up overhead. You have a nice deep knee bend here. Reaching the knuckles up. If we're enjoying the forward fold, but not so much the arms, with a bit of control, release the arms down. You can find a block here, or maybe the floor, or maybe grabbing on to opposite elbows here. Just maybe swaying, rocking the head forward and back, or maybe just finding stillness in a forward fold. Finding nice deep breaths here. Find your motto, I deserve joy, I am happy. And then let's release from the elbows if we have those. Press through the feet and we'll come all the way back up to standing nice and easy. Take it nice and slow. Inhale here. Exhale those hands through heart center and down to our side. Awesome. So we're feeling a little warm now. We started to open up through the heart center. Maybe that's already making you feel good. I hope so. We're gonna make our way down to the mat now. If you're in the chair, you're already halfway there. You're already there. Um, if you're coming down to the mat, if you practice vinyasa in your flow, go ahead and flow down to the mat now. I'm just gonna make my way down to the mat. Now, for our seated pose here, we can sit in the chair, obviously. We can sit on our shins the way I am, or you can choose to sit with just an easy cross-legged or uh, easy seated pose on the mat. We can all bring our hands to our laps here. And then we're gonna cross our hands and reach for opposite knees. So let's start by crossing our left hand on top and reaching for opposite knees here. You might feel a little constricted. We're going to open this up through the heart space with a little breathing work. And as we inhale, we're going to open up, follow the hand back. And it's like we're kind of throwing something back behind us and opening up through the heart space here. This is our inhale. We're twisting a little bit through the core, so spinning the ribs, reaching back, looking back. And then exhale, come around to the front, cross that left arm over. Inhale, reach back and twist, look back, follow the hand with your eyes, and then come forward. So this is one option, sitting here, opening up, and exhaling. You may find you're in a tabletop, stacking joints. And you want to sweep the left arm up and over as we inhale and exhale, and then thread the needle, left arm comes under right, and then open up. Left arm threads through and open up. So a couple of options here. We're gonna stay for a few more flowing breaths. Moving with your breath always. This is all about listening to your body and breath, especially in today's flow of joy and happiness. What movement, what speed of movement is bringing you joy. Okay, this time if we're seated, we're gonna open up and stay open for a few breaths. If you're in the tabletop option, thread the needle and lower the left shoulder down and maybe the left side of the face down and stay lowered with hips high. Let's stay for a couple more rounds of breath. Being sure to inhale and exhale here. Nice and open, nice deep twist, good. And on the exhale, let's come around to the front, come out back to tabletop if you've chosen that option. Stack your joints, uncross your hands if you're seated, and let's find a seated cat-cow. So for here, it's like we wanna sort of pull the heart center through by pulling on our knees, and then pushing the heart center back, rounding through the spine. So think about sort of pushing the legs away, and then pulling the heart center through. This is our inhale. And then exhale, push the legs away, round through the spine. This is how we do it in the chair or seated. And if you're in tabletop, dropping the belly and rounding through the spine as you flow through cat cow. Let's do a couple more. Good. On the 
next inhale, come to a neutral spine. We'll sit up nice and tall. If you're sitting cross-legged and you want to change legs, uh, change the crossing of the legs, go ahead and do that now. If you're sitting on the floor on your shins like I am or in the chair, we'll just bring our hands back to our laps and we'll cross opposite hand over. So this time the right hand will come over top of the left. And here we go. We're going to inhale, open up, reach back, follow the hand with your gaze. Feel nice and open through the heart center here. And then exhale, bring it back, cross it over. Inhale, follow that hand, open up through the heart center. Feel a bit of a twist through the core. Let's keep flowing. Right hand reaching open. If you're in the tabletop, of course, this time the right arm will sweep up and then thread the needle underneath left as you come down. Inhaling to open, exhale, thread the needle down. Good. So moving at your own pace, what pace brings you joy? Might be faster or slower than mine. And that's perfect. Good, let's stay open this time. Inhale, stay nice and open. Stay for a few rounds of breath. If you're in the tabletop posture, thread the needle, lower the right shoulder down and right side to face down to the mat and stay for two. And stay for one. Stay for one more inhale and then exhale, come around to the front. Good. Let's uncross those hands or if you're in tabletop, just press through the floor. We'll do a couple rounds of cat cow here again. Pull that heart space through, inhale. And exhale, press it all the way. Exhale through the backside body of the heart space. Yes, inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale, this is the last round here. And exhale, round through the spine, really press the shoulder blades apart by pressing the legs away. And then let's come to a neutral spine. Good, feeling nice and juicy through the spine, nice and open through the heart space. This is feeling good. Now we're going to come into a child's pose for a little break in the chair, just simply folding forward over the thighs. If you're sitting like me, you might want to try a version of child's pose that looks a little bit like um, a turtle shell. The legs stay together, fold the body over the legs, and just let the hands stay down by your side. Let the shoulders flop forward towards the mat, open up through the shoulder blades. If you were in the tabletop for the last flow, just sink the hips back. You can keep the legs close together and find that sort of turtle shell or find a bit of space for the legs, reach the arms forward and let the belly and heart center melt down. Take a few breaths here, find your motto. And on the next inhale, let's lift the forehead and we can start to make our way back up to seated. Now, I want to demonstrate the next flow um, options in the chair before moving into it on the mat. So if you're going to be practicing on the mat, stay in your child's pose or maybe flow through a few rounds of cat-cow just while I demonstrate the next couple of postures in the chair. It's just so that we can all kind of move together. So we're going to be coming into a lunge, high or low, your choice and for the chair option instead of sitting in the chair facing forwards I think it's a good idea to turn to the side so that your front leg of your lunge is supported entirely by the chair your pelvis is also supported I'm still sitting in the chair I can root down through this front leg and then the back leg can step um, it can stay in this bent leg shape or it can step back and create a bit more of a longer lunge. So depending on what we're looking for in the hip flexor here, a couple of options for our lunge in the chair. Then as we transition to a hamstring stretch, those of us in the chair, step the back leg in and turn to face the front of the chair again, and then stretch the right leg out in front, 
hinge forward, find our hamstring stretch. And that will be the sequence of uh, the next couple of postures. And then of course, we'll do it all again on the other side. So that's the chair flow. So finding your posture in the chair, if you're flowing in the chair, if you're flowing on the mat with me and you are on the floor, I'll just turn to the side so you can get a view of the leg pos positioning. We're gonna step the right foot forward. And this is gonna be our grounded foot. We're gonna root down through the foot. And just like in the chair, we might wanna stay nice and upright like this. We may wanna sink a little bit into the hips, but to do that another way is to just sort of squeeze the glutes and try to draw the hips up towards the shins. So right away, by doing that, engaging the core and the glutes, feel a bit of a sensation increase in the hip flexor stretch. Another option here on the floor, if this is too much on your knee, you can curl the back toes and lift the back knee. This will be a little bit more of a strengthening um, lunge for you, but great option. So choosing an option that works for your body here, settling into your lunge, whether you're on the chair or on the floor or knee is lifted, and let's sweep the arms up for a big inhale. And then exhale, draw them down to our sides, creating cactus arms. They look like this, <laughs> but we're not twisting. And then inhale, exhale, open up through the heart center. Think about maybe turning the elbows up towards the ceiling, really find a big space for the breath. Inhale, exhale, you can find a little movement through the hips if that feels okay. Protecting the low back, squeeze that bum. We don't want to be wrenching through the low back. Let's take one more flow here. Inhale. Exhale, really open up. Pause here. Stay for a few breaths. Feel that big space. Imagine breathing in all this air in front of you, filling your lungs and belly. Good. On the exhale, let's start to hinge forward. Our hands can start to come down as we straighten out the front leg. And now we find ourselves in a hamstring stretch. So in the chair now, this is your cue to turn to face the front of the chair and step the right foot straight out in front of you, hinging forward, finding hamstring stretch. We can all flex our toes back towards our face. And just play with maybe drawing the pinky toe towards our face a bit more. Seeing how that changes the hamstring stretch. Now if you're in the chair, you'll probably just stay in stillness and that's great. If you're on the floor, you may choose a little flow between hip flexor and hamstring. Or not, it's your choice. Again, whatever brings us joy whatever feels best, whatever doesn't hurt, is what we may want to choose here. If we've chosen movement, let's stay in the hamstring stretch for a pause. Good, then we'll come back, just so we can transition, come back to the hip flexor stretch, maybe bringing that right arm to the inside so we can step back through tabletop. Finding ourselves in tabletop, let's spread the fingers wide, press into the mat, engage the core, and flow through cat-cow. If you're in the chair, you can do the seated cat-cow just like at the beginning of class, using the legs to press and pull the heart space. On the next inhale, come through neutral spine, and we're gonna set up for the other side now. So now we're gonna step that left leg through in the chair, turning sideways so the left leg and pelvis are supported by the chair, and step the right leg back. Let's settle into our lunge on this side, remembering our options, we can lift the knee or have it lowered. Root down through that front foot, Draw the hips towards the ribs, squeeze the bum, and when we're ready, inhale, and exhale, open up through those cactus arms, inhale, and exhale, inhale here, 
exhale, open up the heart center to the ceiling. Let's go one more time, inhale, exhale here and hold and breathe here. Keep squeezing the bum, protect that low back. Breathe in all this space we've created. Good. Let's stay for one more round of breath. On the exhale now, we're going to lift up and start to send the hips back, lowering the hands, straightening the front leg and coming into our hamstring stretch here. Toes are flexing back towards our face in the chair, turning to face the front, stepping left leg out straight in front, hinging forward for that hamstring stretch. Thinking about evening out the hips, so maybe thinking about drawing that left hip back and that right hip forward, and thinking about staying in stillness or flowing between hip flexor and hamstring if you're on the floor and you have the space for that movement. Now, some of these creaks and cracks are my floor, and some are my knees. <laughs> It doesn't hurt, so I'm listening to my body. There's no pain, it's just a crack. So again, making sure we're listening to our body. Let's stay in stillness for a breath here in the hamstring stretch. And then if we're on the floor, coming back forward into the lunge, just so we can bring this left arm to the inside of our leg and work the leg back so we find ourselves in our tabletop again. Flow through cat-cow, couple rounds. Drop the belly, lift the heart center. And then round through the spine, exhale. One more round here, take a big inhale. And exhale. Great, coming to neutral spine, we're gonna make our way to our camel pose. So our camel pose is we're going to come up onto our knees. Now, if your knees are feeling a little um, sore, we might want to, you can sort of double up the mat by folding it or placing a towel under your knees here. In the chair, we're just going to sit nice and tall. We're all going to take our hands, sweep them behind us and kind of stick them in our jeans pockets. Like as if we're thinking, we're putting jeans, uh, we're putting our hands in our jeans pockets. And then we want to roll the shoulders open, squeeze the elbows. So squeeze the shoulder blades nice and open through the heart center. So you can do this if we're sitting in the chair. Again, if there's no room behind the chair, just reach back for the back of the chair and think about sort of using the chair as an anchor to help lift the heart. We want to think about not arching our back, but rather lifting the heart as if we're being lifted by a string, especially if we're in the chair. So the rest of us, we have our hands in our pockets, we're nice and open through the heart space. We're pushing those hips forward so they line up um, over top of knees. Now, if you're a camel, um, if it's in your practice to reach back for your ankles, go ahead and do that. We just don't want to lose the alignment of the knees and hips. So we really want to think about engaging through the glutes, pressing the hips forward, squeezing shoulder blades open, and then think about holding a little piece of fruit here under your chin, just so your head doesn't fall way back. We want to maintain control and stability in our camel and then stay for a few breaths. Take one more inhale, still squeezing those hips forward. On the next inhale, let's come up through center. Good, let's release it, shake it all out. We're gonna come off those knees. We're gonna actually make our way back up to standing. So if you wanna flow through a vinyasa or stretch out through downward dog or any movement that feels good for you now, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, just coming up to standing, which I'm gonna do, just by using my knee for a bit of leverage. And we're gonna move into some balanced postures. Now, um, again, I'm just gonna demonstrate something quickly in the chair as an option before moving into our balance. So find that in pose if you're waiting for me to catch up to you and find a few breaths. In the chair, an option if you feel more comfortable seated rather than standing for balance, that's great. We'll just work on a little bit of strength and balance 
um, through the core, which is important in balance. So you can just choose to lift opposite leg and arm, maybe kind of crunching and drawing knee to elbow and opening up again, trying that again a few times, just seeing how that feels. You're working on balance here to stay balanced on the chair. And then you can switch sides when we switch sides as well. So this is a great chair option for our balance. We're opening up here through the space, the heart center space, and crunching down, creating a bit of core strength and stability, which is important in all of our balance poses. So there's a great option for seated in the chair. Another option for our balance with the chair, of course, is to just use the chair as um, something to hang on to. So that's an option as well. So I'm gonna probably do a little bit of both, <laughs> using the chair and not, because I'm in a wobbly little floor here. We'll see how it all goes. Today we're gonna do a nice big open um, balance posture to go along with our theme of joy. Um, this is one of my favorite balance poses. It does bring me a lot of joy to do. So with all balance poses, let's start with our feet grounding into the earth, uh, engaged through the core. Our hands can be on our hips or at heart center, if that's where we feel balanced. And then we're gonna shift our weight to our right foot and just step those left toes out to the side, engage all the muscles. So everything's working in balance. That's why that chair option is so great. We gotta work all those muscles. Seeing how we feel here and lifting the toes off the mat. Maybe we stay here, we're feeling good and strong, we're rooting down through that right foot, energy through the left foot that's lifted, but maybe we wanna open up, find that joyful energy and find a big open star pose. So again, with all balance, you can challenge your balance by changing your gaze, your drishti. So maybe you wanna look up or close your eyes. Just practicing playing with challenges that push us to our edge. And yes, maybe we'll fall out, that's okay. We just make our way back and find a few more rounds of breath here. Again, think about breathing in from all four corners of your body. Take one more big inhale here and then exhale, let it go. Lower that left foot down and just wrap your arms around yourself. Give yourself a big hug now. Even though this posture is feeling a bit closed and crunchy, it's a hug. It still brings joy and happiness. So give yourself a hug, making it onto your mat today. Good, now let it go. Uh, when we're going through balance, we have to make sure we let go of any judgment we had over the last side and let go of any expectation we have of what's gonna happen on this side because we don't know. So we're just living in the present embracing that joy we've created with our postures and moving to the next side. So let's ground through the feet again here. Rock back and forth, hands on hips or at heart center, wherever you feel most balanced. I have to move my chair out of the way here a little bit. And now we'll transfer the weight into the left foot and step those right toes out to the side. Good, really root down through the support leg. Maybe we're staying here. Maybe we're reaching for our chair to hang on to it. Now maybe we're lifting those right toes, send energy out through those right toes, squeeze the glutes, engage the core, find your drishti. And if we feel up for it, let's open up into that big, beautiful four point star, breathe in all that energy from all the corners of the body, creating lots of joyful energy flow through the body. If you fall out, come back in, find two more breaths. Good, take one more inhale here, inhale it all. And then exhale, let's give ourselves a hug, maybe crossing opposite arm this time. Step the foot down, give yourself a hug, splay the shoulder blades. Good, now just again, let it go. Step the feet wide, maybe just swing the arms from side to side. Empty coat sleeves, this is a nice childhood feeling of joy, I remember you know, pulling my arms inside my coat in December, January, February, just doing this in the winter. <laughs> Feels good, awesome. All right, so from here, let's make our way back down to the mat. So again, back down to the chair, if you're practicing in the chair, or down to the mat, um, if you're practicing on the mat with me. 
So we're gonna come on down here. Let's come into um, a, a seated version of pigeon. Um, last week we did one as well, and we're just gonna do another one this week. This time we're gonna try and do um, firefly. Fire, you know, gives me joy as well. Um, it's a different chakra, but I love the idea of um, cozy winter fires, and that brings me a lot of joy. So this one's called fire log. It's pretty um, uh, difficult to get into. Uh, or to be in, rather. It's quite intense is the word I'm looking for, not difficult. So if we find we can't stack our knees, um, we can extend our left leg and just have the right leg crossed over the left leg. And then we can hinge forward if there's space. And if you're in the chair, same thing. It looks just like this. Just cross that right leg over left. And we're gonna hinge forward if there's space. If you're coming to fire log, the full fire log, we're gonna try and stack our ankles and knees. So you can see here, I've got a bit of space between my ankle and knee. If you have any kind of block or anything that you wanna put in there for some support, go ahead and do that, that feels great. We're trying to create the look of two fire logs if you're looking straight on at me. And we're flexing the feet to protect the knee. Let's take a big inhale here. Eyes can be open or closed, staying upright or maybe hinging forward if you have some space. Feeling a nice deep stretch in the hips. And we wanna stay and see if we can't relax in places we're holding tension here. So maybe we're holding tension in our jaw, maybe in our hips, try and relax. Hopefully not through our heart center that we've been working on so hard today, but if it's in the shoulders, let it go. And stay for a few more breaths. And when you're ready, slowly come on out. If you have any kind of prop, just move it out of the way. Lean back onto the hands, just so you have space to uncross the legs and then windshield wiper the legs. Oh yeah, that's good. In the chair, just step the feet wide. And windshield wipers and knees if you can, or maybe do some hip circles seated. Do something to wake up the hips after that stretch. And then we'll change sides here. So we're gonna create that nice, warm, glowing, joyful fire on this side. Again, either by stacking the ankles and knees, you might find that space is happening again, or extending the right leg this time. And we'll just keep the left leg crossed over the knee. In the chair, same thing, just flex that left foot, cross it over the knee like you're sitting in an office chair. And then from here, standing up nice and tall and hinging forward to find that deep hip flex, deep hip stretch. And maybe you're in the full position here, hinging forward. Find those areas where you're holding tension and let it go. Come back to your motto, I am happy, I deserve joy, whatever it was from the beginning of class, just tap back into that. Stay for a few more rounds of breath. And then when we're ready, let's come on out of this. Lean back again, just so you have space to uncross those legs. We'll windshield wiper them one more time. And then we're gonna make our way down to the mat. So making your way down to the mat, I'm just gonna demonstrate a couple of options in the chair for those of us who won't be um, rolling down to the mat for these final postures. So I'll meet you down on the mat in a minute. We're gonna come into happy baby uh, on the mat. A nice option in the chair is um, just to have a nice wide leg forward fold in the chair. You can hold on to thighs or shins. If you have a block in front, you can lean forward into the block. So find a nice wide legged forward fold. You can rest elbows on knees, finding space all through the pelvis area and nice deep breaths in a forward fold. So that's a nice option for happy baby that we're coming into on our backs. 
And then for Shavasana, once we get there as well, you can just choose to sit nice and comfy, comfortably in the chair, feet really rooted down to the earth, hands on lap, and we'll meet you in Shavasana in a few minutes. So find your happy baby if you're in the chair, and I'll meet you down on the mat. So making your way down if you haven't already. When you get down to the mat, you can draw knees into chest and rock side to side. If you're in the chair, an option for this is just to lift one knee up to the chest and then the other. Just releasing through the low back a little bit. And then we can start to make our way to our happy baby. So for happy baby, we're going to send the feet up towards the ceiling. And depending on our flexibility, we might reach for behind our shins and draw, uh, excuse me, our, our hamstrings and draw our knees down to our side. Maybe reaching behind the shins, grabbing onto the calf muscles and drawing our knees down towards our side or our ankles or our feet. The idea is to draw the knees down while maintaining a nice flat back on the mat. This will feel quite open and vulnerable, but perhaps radiating a bit of joy as we've been working on that throughout our practice today. And it's happy baby after all. It should be a happy, joyful posture. So anything that feels good in happy baby, go for that. You might want to find stillness. Relax the shoulders down and back. Maybe rocking side to side if you're still learning to massage out the low back. Or maybe extending one leg and then the other if you want to stretch out a little bit more. So a couple of options for our happy baby. Choosing one or two or three <laughs> as we spend the last few moments here just cultivating happiness and joy in our happy baby posture. Taking those nice deep breaths, we're nice and open through the belly and heart center in this posture. And then whenever you feel ready to come out, you can draw the feet together, draw the knees together, lower the feet down to the mat. And just before we move into Shavasana, if there's any final postures your bodies are craving, please go ahead and do those now. Maybe you want to just press up through a bridge or wheel to open up through the front side body. Maybe you're looking for a bit more stretch and you want to come into a seated pigeon figure four, or maybe a simple inversion, lifting the feet up towards the ceiling um, and letting the blood just flow back towards your heart center, which is all full of joy and happiness now. So any final postures your bodies are craving in the chair, same thing. Maybe you want to stretch, stretch out the legs, or uh, take a gentle twist, whatever feels good. And then when you're ready, moving into Shavasana, which can also take any form. It can be traditional lying straight down along your mat. Just whenever you're ready, I'm just going to guide you through getting into Shavasana. And I'll meet you there when you're ready after your final postures. There's no rush. There's lots of time for Shavasana. We just want to make sure we find a very comfortable position, something we can really sink into. Legs can be outstretched, arms down by our sides, taking up as much space on your mat as you can. Taking a few deep breaths now, seated in our chair or lying along our mat. Just scanning our bodies to see if there are any areas we're still holding on to any tension. Maybe just breathe a little loving kindness. Send some of that happiness and joy to those places and let it go. And Shavasana is the time for our physical and energetic bodies to absorb all that good work we just did and turn it into something magical like happiness and joy. And it's our time for integration and rest. And letting the breath settle, letting the body settle, lying it supported on the mat and by the chair. So 
need a few more minutes in silence before finishing up our practice together. But the beauty of internet practices is that you can stay here as long as you need. It's one of the most important parts of our practice, finding that stillness and that quiet. But if you feel ready to come out, start wiggling to fingers and toes and circling wrists and ankles. Starting to deepen the breath, bringing life and movement back to our bodies. And maybe here you want to stretch long along your mat or in your chair, or maybe curl into a little ball one last time, just before rolling over to one side and gently making your way up to a comfortable seated position. And from here, we can bring our hands onto our lap. We can have the hands turned down to feel grounded like last week, or maybe turning them up in a gesture of acceptance for all that joy and happiness to really keep coming our way and sending it back out. been so great being back on my mat and practicing with you uh, through the lens, through the camera. I hope you enjoyed the practice today. I hope you walk away feeling joy and happiness as I know I do. Let's take a big breath together. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, let's draw our hands down through heart center. I'm placing mine over my heart to just seal in that last little bit of joy and happiness that we have together. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming on this yoga leap with me. I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Thanks, everyone. See you next week.